Good morning, everyone. Uh, Tina Spalding, Trance Channel here. Thank you for joining us for this uh, day's uh, Course in Miracles lesson. We are doing lesson number 87 today. Uh, our review today will cover these ideas. <clears throat> number one, reviewing lesson number 73. I will there be light. I will use the power of my will today. It is not my will to grope about in darkness, fearful of shadows and afraid of things unseen and unreal. Light shall be my guide today. I will follow it where it leads me and I will look only on what it shows me. This day I will experience the peace of true perception. The forms of this idea the forms of this idea would be helpful for specific applications. This cannot hide the light I will to see. You stand with me in light, say someone's name. In this light, in the light, this will look different. <clears throat> and reviewing lesson number 74, there is no will but God's. I am safe today because there is no will but God's. I can become afraid only when I believe there is another will. I will try to attack <clears throat> only when I am afraid and only when I try to attack can I believe that my eternal safety is threatened. Today I will recognize that all this has not occurred. I am safe because there is no will but God's. These are some useful forms of this idea for specific application. Let me perceive this in accordance with the will of God. It is God's will you are his son, name somebody, and mine as well. This is part of God's will for me, however I may see it. <clears throat> Let's see what Jesus has to say today. You are blessed beings indeed. I am that one that you know as Jesus. And we thank you again for joining us today in this review period. These review periods are important. You revisit ideas that you have been introduced to. You have a little uh, embellishment on ideas that are related to these ideas. And so you are educating yourselves. You are learning new thoughts. You are learning new ways to see things. When you are perceiving yourself as unfairly treated in the world, you are essentially saying that God is attacking you, that you should be getting something different than what you're getting. When you see an event in the world and say, that should not be happening, essentially you are playing God. You are deciding with your very, very small understanding of reality, you are deciding that you know better than what is. So for example, when you see beings suffering, you may say, this should not happen. This cannot be the will of God. This would be a cruel God if this being was allowing this to happen. But in truth, what is happening is you are allowed to be free to choose whatever it is that you want to do by that God. And so you are experiencing and witnessing what you have been given the freedom to miscreate or create yourselves. When you miscreate repeatedly, you suffer each time. And when you suffer repeatedly, you begin to pay attention to what you're doing. The first few times you're suffering, not so much. But if you keep seeing a pattern of behavior in you and a consequent, consequent result in the world, you will begin to associate your decisions with your own suffering and you will begin to understand that you are 
giving yourself the same gift slash result each time. And you are given the free will to choose differently. You have been given the free will to choose what it is that you want to do, what it is that you want to believe, what it is that you want to worship, what it is that you want to value. You are given free will to do all of those things because you are loved. You are given the free will by that which you would call God to choose again. And that is what all of you who are here are doing. You are, after many years of having your free will to choose whatever you wish, are choosing to come here and hang out with us. And that is a very, very clever thing that you are doing. You have finally decided that there is perhaps something you do not understand, something perhaps that you do not know, and that you are well served to learn some new things, some new ideas, some new perspectives. And so we applaud you for coming here today to learn those new things. I am that one that you know as Jesus, and we will see you for more instruction tomorrow. <laughs> Where are my glasses? Oh, I guess I don't need my glasses to say goodbye, do I? Thank you for joining me today. We'll see you in the morning. Bye.